Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today let's look at different methods for merging folders full of files in Mac OS X. Now if there's one way that Windows has Mac OS X beat, it's in folder merging. This is when you take a folder and drag and drop it onto another folder. In Windows it will merge the two folders. It will save the newest copy of files with the same name and it will put new files into the merged folder but it won't delete any old ones. In Mac OS X you're simply replacing one folder's contents with the others meaning you're deleting any files that weren't in the second folder. Not a merge at all. But there are many different ways to do merges of folders in Mac OS X. Let's go and take a look at three such ways. Now let's take a look at the test case. I've got two folders here, test1 and test2. In test1 I've got four files, 1, 2, 3, and 5. And in test2 I've got four files also, 1, 2, 4, and 5. So clearly there's a file here that is missing from here and vice versa, number 3 and 4. In addition, test1, file 2, is modified yesterday, 9 o'clock. But in here, test file number 2, it's actually modified today. So it's been updated. So this test file 2 is newer than this test file 2. Now let's try to merge these together successfully. Now there actually is an official piece of Apple software that will do this. It's called File Merge. But the catch is it doesn't come with Mac OS X. Instead it comes with Xcode which is the developer environment. In order to get Xcode you've got to go ahead and join the Apple developer community which is free and then you have to go over to this part of the Apple site and download Xcode which is like a whole gig. Once you've got it though you've got a bunch of useful utilities including File Merge. Okay, so with File Merge you get basically two areas you can compare, left and right. You select what you want for the left comparison and then you select what you want for the right comparison and then hit Compare. And what you'll get is a comparison of everything in those folders. So you get here that Test File 2 is different, 3 is on the left, and 4 is on the right. And you can go ahead and narrow down your results if you have a long list, just like, for instance, excluding anything that's identical. And then what you want to do is you want to select all the files if you want to do a merge. And you select what type of merge, combining files, using left as predominant, right as predominant, etc. Then you go ahead and once you select the type of merge that you want to do, you just select it. It'll ask you what you want to do. Use it in the existing directory or create a new one. Let's go ahead and create a new directory at the test level. We'll call it test3 and we'll save. Now the important thing was I selected all the files here on the left. If I only had selected some, it would only have merged those. So it's important to remember to do that extra step. Now we go ahead and look in the test directory and see there is indeed test3 and we see that all the different files are there including the updated version of test file 2 and we see the rest merged together in that one directory. So using file merge is pretty difficult if you're not used to programming. There's a lot of different options and it doesn't always work completely as you expect so it takes some time getting used to. It's not a very automated solution either. Now let's look at how we can use the terminal to merge two folders together. We're going to use a command called ditto. This will merge two folders together and it's pretty easy to use. But first thing we want to do is navigate in terminal to the current directory which test1 and test2 are in a directory called test. An easy way to get there without figuring out exactly where that is is to go ahead, select it, to copy and then we go over to the terminal and we do cd for change directory and then we paste the full path in there. Now we are in that test directory. If we do ls for list we actually look and we see there's test1 and test2. So now we're ready to go. Now what ditto will do is it will merge two or more directories together and put them in a third if you like. So let's for instance do test1, test2 and put them in test3. And instantly we see that not only did the command complete in the terminal window but it created that folder. If we look at test3 we can see all five files are there. Now let's go and take a look. Of course 3 and 4 are one from each of the directories and 2 is actually updated today and you can see that that's the current file if we looked into it then rather than the old file. Now if we delete test3 and reverse the ditto command we'll see something different as a result. Test2, test1, test3. We get that. We get the five files just as before. But if we look at file number 2 we see that it's the old one. So what ditto is doing is it's actually saying grab the first folder and then grab the second folder 
and this is the one that supersedes the first one. And when we do the opposite, test 1 supersedes the second one, so we end up with the old file. Now, this isn't as useful as determining which ones are exactly the newest, but at least you do have this sort of control over it. You can also go ahead and merge two folders into one by simply only having two directories there. For instance, uh, ditto test1, test2 will merge the contents and the results will be in test2. You can also merge a whole bunch of them and the last one will always be the folder that everything ends up in. If it exists, then the contents of that are also merged. If it doesn't exist, it creates it and puts the merge in that folder. Now there are a bunch of shareware programs out there that allow you to synchronize and merge folders. They're at various different prices and they have various different features. For just simply merging some together though, one of the simplest seems to be one called File Synchronization. You can go and download it here. Now what File Synchronization does is it basically allows you to add a pair of folders and you can do that by dragging and dropping. So we can add like Test1 and Test2 like that. And then you can go ahead and determine what you want to do. You can have all sorts of different options, what to do with orphan files. Uh, you can set up automatic synchronization between the two of them and you can set lots of different preferences. Click the Synchronize button and it will synchronize the two files. Now this isn't simply merging two folders into one. This is actually synchronizing both. So if I go back to Test1 and Test2 I find they both have all the files in there now. In addition to that I find that Test File number 2 is now the most recent one in both folders. So it's a true file folder synchronization program, not just a merge. It's worth taking a look at and it costs about $15. And there's a lot of other ones there uh, that cost anywhere between that and upwards of $30 or even more dollars that do even more advanced file synchronization. So there's a look at three different ways that you can go ahead and merge folders together on Mac. Now they all fall far short of the Windows way of doing it which is just so simple and elegant that it becomes way more useful. Hopefully in future versions of Mac OS X we'll get the option to either do it the old way by replacing a folder or doing a merge similar to that used in Windows. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.